Hey guys, it's Tally here. Welcome back to my channel. So I realised I haven't posted in quite a while. Uh, I've really got no excuse for it. I think I'm filming like two or three videos at the moment that are all sort of coming out at similar-ish times. I feel like at the start of every single video I've apologised that there's been no videos. But that does mean you're going to have three new videos. So like, I haven't posted in about three weeks so I'm just making it all up to you. In three videos. Today I thought I'd do a sit down video with you guys and just get really comfortable and open and answer questions that I have been avoiding. As you guys can probably tell lots has changed in the past five months and lots of things have happened so I thought why don't I update everyone because I get questions all the time and it's so hard to answer everyone individually so I've just been like putting it off and now I'm just gonna answer it in one big go. I haven't done my hair, I haven't got any makeup on because I wanted this to be like a real chit chat, you know, like comfy video. Like I'm, imagine this is like I'm sending you Snapchat videos to you directly, to giving you a little life update, you know? Hey guys, so I'm just quickly here to interrupt the video and tell you about the Ecovas Dbot T8 that I have been sent. So I'm going to tell you what it is and how it works and then just to let you know that there is a link in the description box down below for you to go get your own. So it's basically a robot vacuum, so it is a hoover that basically hoovers itself. So I don't know about you but I absolutely hate hoovering, like I don't, I don't okay that's a lie, I hoover my room when it's got to the stage I need to hoover it but that's about it. And this was actually a really good gift for my mum. Like me, she hates hoovering. I mean, I don't think anyone likes it. And also, ever since we've got Nessie, it's quite hard to hoover because Nessie just goes absolutely crazy every time we turn a hoover on. She growls and barks at it. Um, so it makes it pretty much impossible. So with this, my mum is able to hoover the house when she's not even in the house, uh, which just makes life a lot easier, obviously. So normally what she does is when she takes Nessie on a walk, she will put on the D-Bot and it basically just hoovers our whole house for us which is pretty sick. So it's got upgraded AVI technology which means that you can just put it on and leave it because it knows your house better than you do. It also has revolutionary true mapping, laser based mapping and navigation technology. So basically we tested it, if there's like an item somewhere in your house it knows, it can see it because it's got like a camera and it goes around it. And yeah, it's, it's it's pretty cool. It's a bit creepy, I'm not gonna lie, it does sort of freak me out, but it's cool. And most importantly, obviously, it actually does do the job, like it, it cleans and it, it works. And it's not even that expensive. Like honestly, I was really shocked. Um, I thought something like this was gonna be so much money, but it's really not, like for what you're getting, it's a really, really good price. There's also an app, which I have downloaded on my phone, the Ecovas Home app. We actually named ours Rick Grimes, and if you watch The Walking Dead, then that makes sense. If my mum goes out and she forgets to put it on, she can put it on through a phone and if it gets like stuck or trapped or anything, my mum can like turn it off and like tell it to go around or something. It's, it's a really good app and it means that we can control it when we're not home. So Yeah, make sure you go and check that out. Like I said, it will be in the first line of my description box. So go click on it and go look at it. It's also a really good gift. Uh, so if you don't really care about hoovering, get it for your mum because she will love you forever. So I put the question box on my story for people to ask me questions. Okay, I think the first thing everyone wants to know is my relationship status. That has been like the main question. And guys, I am single. I have said it countless, countless times on my TikTok, my Instagram. I am single. I do not have a boyfriend. I do not want a boyfriend anytime soon. As you guys know, I, I did get out of like a pretty serious relationship. So for me to just jump right into one is not what I want. And I'm really trying to focus on like myself and work out. Okay, this is going to sound rude. I don't want to get deep but like work out who I am. I basically just want to be happy on my own without having to rely on a boy. That's what I'm doing at the moment and yeah, a relationship is not something I want right now. So I guess that leads on to the next question of are you dating Harry? No, I am not. Me and Harry are really good friends. You'll probably see in a couple videos time our holiday that we're going on together. We're going away in four days. I'm so excited. We're going to Mallorca. 
and I honestly I'm just so gassed to get out of this out of this country. It's July. Okay, you can't see, but it's July and it's grey. Me and Harriet are not dating. We are really, really close, of course, but we are not together and we're going on this holiday uh, as friends and basically just to get away and enjoy the sunshine. Also, how depressing is this? I do an England flag on my um, nails for the football and uh, we're not, we're just not going to talk about it. What are your plans after college? Okay, so I don't know. I'm in a bit of a predicament. So obviously I finished my A-levels. I did media and sociology for A-level and I get my results back. Oh my God, in about a month, which is kind of scary. I sort of know roughly what I'm getting for media. I'm not really sure about sociology. I think my sociology will probably be like a D or a C. And my media will hopefully be a B, maybe an A. Yeah, I was accepted into London... College of Fashion to do fashion marketing, which is obviously subject to whether or not I get the grades that I need to get in. I think I need 112 UCAS points, so it kind of all depends on how well my EPQ does, I'm pretty sure. I don't know, it's a bit of a struggle. But I am just not sure if I want to go this year because my social media, my modelling, my influencing, blah, 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 it's doing really well at the moment, so I don't really feel like giving that up to go to uni when I can go to uni at any time, do you know what I mean? Like, I don't need to go this year. I can take a gap year or I can just not go and then decide to go in like 10 years time. It's not that deep. I'm just going to stick to doing what I'm doing at the moment because it seems to be working at the moment. But obviously I know it's probably not a long term solution. So I will be looking into like different career paths. But I definitely do want to work in fashion. Can you show your tattoos you've got at the moment? Yes. So I actually have got a few more since uh, I last saw you guys. So I guess I will show them to you now. So obviously you know about this one which I got for my 18th birthday. The three butterflies. Um, and then I don't know, I I got this ages ago, I don't know if I ever showed you guys, I think I did, the heart behind my ear, I don't even know if you can see that, um, but yeah, there's that, and then my two new additions, I got the Libra star sign on the inside of my pinky, because obviously I'm a Libra, and I also got some words there, um, on my hip, and it says, love yourself, and it's basically where all my, like, stretch marks and scars are so I thought that was pretty cute. How long have you been doing cheer for? Is it something you have to start at a young age? So I've only been doing cheer for a year so I'm quite new to it. Bournemouth was my first ever competition and we did in fact win. We came first place in our division and then we also became grand champions so we like won overall with lots of other level three and four teams and there was probably about over 50 teams in that category so we did we did pretty well like I said I've only been cheering for a year but I've done gymnastics since I was well two so obviously I had that sort of head start I guess you can start cheer at any age lots of cheerleaders do start with gymnastics and then sort of convert to cheer when they get older but obviously cheer is becoming so much more popular now that there are so many amazing programs in the UK that you can probably just start at any age and they will teach you. I asked how is your mental health? It is actually really, really good at the moment. Obviously I have my off days. In general, I'm a lot better, a lot happier and it's very nice. I don't know, I feel like a big weight has been like lifted off my shoulders and I'm just, I'm doing good. So I'm asked what my current workout routine is and I don't actually have one and I'm really annoyed at myself because when I finished A-levels, I was like, right, I can now really focus on like going to the gym and everything and that just didn't happen. But I'm going to hopefully start soon and possibly even get myself a personal trainer because I'm really not very good at like motivating myself so I think I, <laughs> I need some help. Nothing to do with life updates but I related to Tabitha from Too Hot to Handle you look so like I'm not no but I have got this so much in the past like two weeks. Uh, now that I've gone like blonde I don't know if I look like her as much but no we're not related. Someone asked how my eating is and I guess this is another question I've sort of been avoiding and obviously I'm going to say uh, trigger warning now if you're not comfortable talking about like food and weight and stuff then skip this portion of the video um I did struggle I didn't really tell anyone no one no one really knows about this it was just something that I dealt with by myself and with my like parents I did struggle quite a lot about three or four months ago and I did go to the doctors about it and they have helped me and it is a lot better now I have obviously off days and I feel like no one really understands an eating disorder or anything like that unless you've really had one or you've dealt with a close family member that's had one. It's not nice and it's it's not easy. I get girls like messaging me all the time saying, oh Talia, I'm going to stop eating like you so I can become skinny and honestly that breaks my heart because 
I was losing weight fast, like, I think I lost seven kilograms in about two weeks, which is just, it's not good, I was, I was unhealthy, and that was when I was really unhappy, but I'm better now, so it's fine, uh, I don't know, I'm hoping it will last, and I won't go back to how I was, um, but if I do, then I know I've got doctors, and I've got amazing family and friends that can help me, but yeah, I don't want to go into it too much, because I know it's such a sensitive topic, and I don't really want to talk about it because I'm doing okay now. But thank you for asking and making sure I'm okay. What made you and Christian get back into contact? Okay, I know this question was going to come up and I knew it was going to be... That's literally every question is about... People have been like, so are you and Christian dating again? Blah, 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 blah. Do you miss him? Me and Christian, obviously, we had a breakup. And people have also been asking why we broke up. Honestly, guys, it's not interesting. Uh, Christian wasn't happy, so he broke up with me. I know lots of people don't actually like know what happened and not that it's anyone's business But I feel like obviously we put our relationship on social media so I guess it's only right that we sort of tell people but there was we weren't exactly ready to tell people because it wasn't an easy breakup Like we still loved each other very much when we broke up So we didn't really want to be talking about it But yeah, I guess Christian just wasn't happy anymore and there was I would say hate for each other but we tried to stay friends and that didn't work and we ended up getting very very like angry at each other we were blocked and everything as lots of you guys knew because you realised that we didn't follow each other or anything lots of indirect tiktoks made and private story shit and everything like that and then I guess I think we sort of got like set up to see each other again I'm not really sure what happened um, but we ended up going for drinks or dinner together um, and we sort of I guess we spoke about everything decided we should start being mature about it we unblocked each other and it, everything is good now we are friends we're fine we're civil no we're not getting back together it obviously it's very nice that i'm able to be friends with him again because i still care about him very much so i'm glad i'm glad that we managed to be mature obviously you guys have been so intrigued about my love life recently so i thought i'd come on here and say I will never ever ever like share my relationship on social media again obviously like every now and then i might post a picture of them or whatnot but having a relationship on social media is the worst thing. The toxicness that comes with it is awful. It's so bad for your own mental health. It's so bad for your relationship. Like, as a couple, it just destroys it. So I will never, ever be posting my relationship on social media again. What are your plans for the next couple months with Summer? So I'm going away, like I said, on Friday with Harry, which I'm really, really looking forward to. I think I have Boardmasters and Reading books. I don't know if I'm going to go to Reading. I will go to Boardmasters. I haven't actually paid my full price of my ticket yet. And I've got my family holiday and we're going on the 16th of August and then when I get back I guess I don't really know. I honestly I'm just sort of living life in the moment. I've always been someone that likes to plan and is very like everything has to be this and this and this but recently I've just sort of been going with the flow and just seeing what happens and it's made me a lot happier so. How's your social life? It's actually good at the moment for once. Talia has friends I know Shock horror, I've actually managed to find some friends. Um, I've rekindled with old friends, which has been so lovely. Someone asked, do you miss being in a relationship? Um, no, yes and no. I miss, I don't miss being in a relationship because I love sort of the freedom and not having to worry about like planning on when to see a boyfriend or like if you can come to a party. I love being able to just go out with my friends and like enjoying myself. I'm not talking about like going and getting with those boys because I'm not doing that. I just mean like, going and enjoying myself without having to worry about like the commitment or what the other person if like they're at home worrying or you know anything like that it is it is tiring and I obviously was in a relationship for a year and I absolutely loved the relationship don't get me wrong of course I did I wouldn't have been with them otherwise but obviously it's nice to just sort of maybe sometimes have a break from relationships and do your own thing and like I said focus on myself but then at the same time I do miss you know like just having that person there that you know you can always rely on, like someone if I'm ever feeling, like if my anxiety's bad or I feel myself like, like with my eating, if I feel myself sort of going down that place again, just knowing that there's always that person there. And luckily I do now have amazing friends, but there's just something about having a boyfriend where it's just like really comforting, you know, like even the little things like falling asleep next to them is like, it's a special thing. And obviously I do miss that, but I can live without it, do you know what I mean? I don't, I'm not craving it. When you next meeting Summer, I actually saw her last week. I didn't take any pictures with her. How do you see yourself in 10 years time? I honestly have absolutely no clue. How to deal with your breakup? Very big glow up, BTW. Um, always been gorgeous, go girl. Thank you very much. Um, you also asked, 
what is something you've learnt this year you wish you knew last? Uh, I don't really know how I've glowed since the relationship. I just, like I said, I've just been working on myself and like spending time with family and friends and doing things for me instead of doing things for a relationship, if that makes sense. I feel like when you're in a relationship, it's so easy to sort of slip into a pattern of doing everything to suit sort of the other person. And this isn't like me criticising my relationship at all. It happens in every single relationship. You just sort of do what you can to make the other person happy and sometimes you forget about yourself. So I think really being on my own, being happy on my own and working on myself has just made me bloom if you will. And something I know this year, which I wish I knew last year, was probably that uh, that it's okay to be on your own, it's okay not to be in a relationship. Someone asked if I want to move out anytime soon, and no, I do not. Okay, that is all the questions, I'm pretty sure. That is everything that I sort of wanted to talk to you guys about. I don't think there's really anything more. I hope I answer the questions that you guys have had for a while. I feel like I have. Just a quick reminder to check the first line of my description box and that is the link to the website to get your D-Bot. Make sure you go get it because they are so cool. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I've got some holiday videos coming out soon which I'm really excited for you guys to see. So make sure that you stay tuned. If you did enjoy it, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time. Bye!